Okay, to start off, let's make an animation for our landing animation. So go into your toolbox. As you can see here, if you don't see this, go to view and click on toolbox. Then instead of models, go to plugins and we will be using the Moon Animator 2 plugin. Normally it's the first thing you see in Essentials. If you don't see it, just search it up in the toolbox. After that, you may have to restart your Roblox Studio, but then you will have in the plugins tab, normally this thing here moon animator 2 inside our character in presets i'll be using r15 and then normally you will have like a character like this um open up your moon animator click on this and then click on your character and make a new animation but if you are using my model then click on land right here double click on it um and you will see like this like my very like bad landing animation i just made it like pretty quickly uh file then you gotta do like save as uh where you see it save as and then you do like land where i did that so then after you saved it go into your character anim saves and you will see land right click this save to roblox you will see land save and then you will have this click this link and ju just remember this id code uh once you click on this like see if i click on it you'll be redirected to this page just click on this and you will have this id while you're at it go in the description below and join my discord server you have an amazing community in here which you can like talk about like scripting and stuff you will see all my latest videos i make you will also have access to all the models i did the new new ones and also the old ones there is no excuse not to join you know just join it and have fun save this for later because we'll be using that okay then let's make the script shall we so go into your starter character scripts and let's add a local script yeah then first of all we're gonna localize our humanoids uh we're gonna get a human component to the character so then with the humanoid we can know the state of our character which can be like free falling jumping and etc the script at parent they'll point to it for child humanoid like this then also we're gonna local our root part which will be script at parent double point wait for child root part uh, i mean humanoid root part now why are we using script parent because the parent of our script which is inside our character scripts is actually our uh character so if i will rename this to uh something like land and if i play the game and i go into workspace and i will see my character death Lowy, and i'll open this you will find your script land inside of here and the parent of our script is death Lowy, and we will see we'll have a humanoid in our character and you also have a humanoid root part in our character then what we're gonna do is we're gonna local our animation and then equals let's say instance dot new uh animation yeah, and we're gonna add an, the animation id into this equals rule blocks asset id dot point slash slash and then go into your um like get your id that you got copy this go into your roblox studio and paste this inside of here then sec then what we're gonna do is we're gonna local our file start y value all start y and we are going to do nil for now so this variable we will store the height of my position where the file starts then local file resh uh, trash hold like this and we're going to make it like about 15 studs so once the player like lands from 15 studs or above the animation will play like if you just like jumping normally animation will not play but only when you land like from a big distance and humanoid that stage changed uh state changed no point connect function uh then we're gonna do old state my new state yeah so it is we're gonna connect the function that runs whenever the humanoid state has changed so let's say if you're jumping then our state has changed and if new state is double equal enum dot humanoid state type dot free fall then uh I'll start y equals root part dot position dot y and then after this uh click enter else if uh new state double equal enum, enum dot humanoid state type dot landed and fall start y then we're gonna do this so if the player lands and we have a stored fall start position then we're gonna do this yeah then let's local our fall and y value uh, equals root part dot position dot y yeah so we will see like the y value from the beginning and then to the end and then we're gonna see like what the difference was uh then look at our fall distance equals fall start y minus fall and y so then we're gonna see the difference and then we're gonna check if fall distance is the same or above uh, 15 as so we're gonna do here if fall distance is bigger or the same as fall threshold which is for us uh 15 then what we're gonna do this is optional we're gonna do like a small print function to see how far uh 
the player has landed from fall or something yeah this is optional uh, i'm gonna do like here uh level points mod dot lore fall distance level points and then let's do here um uh studs yeah so now normally oh um like this i don't know i had like two um brackets in here um okay and now what we're gonna do is do fall start y equals nil on the end of the jump so normally now when we play the game you'll see our output like window if you like jump like land higher from like 15 studs it will like show how far we fall see 19 studs there i'll do it one more time as you can see here hop 20 studs and if you like jump normally it will do nothing now of course let's play the animation so after this let's look for our play anim equals to humanoids dot point load animation uh anim which is this with this id in it and then play anim dot point play with two brackets and then normally if you now play the game if you jump normally no animation should play then if you jump higher from 15 studs as you can see the uh, animation will play it's a bit buggy now but look i would jump off and you can see the animation works perfectly fine if you jump like from above like 15 studs if you don't want that and if you want like only like it to jump like from five studs i think you can change it like this and i think it should normally work now yeah exactly but i think the best thing is to leave that 15 you jump normally small distances you can do pretty okay but then if you go like from a bigger distance you see your character like didn't like that it does like a simple animation for it you can add effects to this but this is like the simple animation for it it was not that hard i think um the like the the model will be like the r15 model with the script on it the script you drag inside our character scripts and with the model you just go into anim saves right click on this save to roblox and then get the animation id and put it inside of here well i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one